welcome you to the Ask Jeff YouTube channel. Here's today's question. You mentioned the significance of the and thou ETH EST word forms that give valuable information regarding the King James Version of the Bible. Is there a source that can teach me this? The six tenses, the three tenses? Absolutely. In fact, there's a lot of research, there's a lot of material out there. I'm not here to drop names or give titles. But really, I think the, the key, and you can Google this per se, is go look up the long preface to the King James Version. Now, the long preface, you know, a, a book typically has a preface, a page or two, describing the intent of the author, the reason for the work. But the long preface is actually a letter that the original translators wrote describing the purposeful language that they were using in the specific translation of the original tongues known as the King James Bible. And so when you see the these and the thous and the yees and all these different things, they explain the, the usage and the why. For example, and by the way, this is a general rule, and it's not in an every uh, case, uh, case, is that when there's these and thous, if it's one human talking to another human, then it's the difference between the second and the third person. However, if God is in the mix of the equation, the thee and the thou reference God communicating to humanity and vice versa, whereas the you and the ye refers to humanity among each other. Why is this important? Because using these words that we oftentimes seem so archaic helps you understand who's talking to who when there are multiple entities, including God himself, as a part of the conversation. Now, the verbs that end in ETH or EST, obviously there are times that it's a simple tense of it's a second person or a third person, but there's a lot of times where it's conveying, per the question, the six tenses of English or of Greek versus the three tenses of English. For example, in English, I ran, I run, I will run. Well, in what we know as Greek, you can say, I you know, was running, stopped running, will never run again, or I've always been running. It's very hard to communicate with three tenses. And so oftentimes those EST and ETH endings on those verbs give us an idea of that case system in Greek that just doesn't exist in English. But the real question was, where can I go to learn about these things? There's a lot of good tools out there but I would suggest just beginning by researching the original, what we call long preface to the King James Bible, explains word usage, explains why they use the words they use, the tenses they use, et cetera. It's just a pretty good tool uh, for helping us understand that when the translators gave us what we know as the authorized or King James Version, they were doing everything they can to make it as easy as possible to understand who's speaking to who and the case and or the tense of the noun or the verb being used in our modern day system. Here's the last thing I wanna share with you about this question. 400 years ago, when the King James Version was translated, humanity didn't walk around saying, I beseech you therefore brethren, or is thine, you know, is thine house open to me? We didn't say those things. The reason the language was used for a purposeful language that when spoken, or when uh, memorized, it would be, be distinctly Bible and not anything else. And that's what's important to this question. Yes, there was a peculiarity to bring specifics in the translation, but also a peculiarity of when you hear it, you know it's the Bible and it's nothing else. Great question. If you have one, send it to askjeff.net. Maybe your question will be tomorrow's. Thanks for being a part of today's daily question. Now, we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at askjeff.net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day.